Morning, everybody. It's Ned over at My Philippine Dreams. Today is Wednesday, June 26th, 2019, the first day of the rest of our lives. And I am here in Dumaguete City on Negros Oriental. And as for Negros Oriental, we got some unfortunate news to go through. All right, first up, this video is being published for educational purposes and serves as a warning for any foreign national living working or vacationing in the Philippines. By publishing these articles and videos like I do, it is not my intent to show that the Philippines is inherently unsafe in any way. It is simply to cover and review the good, the bad, and the occasional ugly that is expatriate life in the Philippines. So without any further ado, let's get into it. German national murdered in Shaotong. A usually reliable Facebook group has noted that a 79-year-old German expatriate was recently stabbed by his live-in girlfriend and later died at the hospital. The spot report noted that the incident occurred in Barangay 3 of Shaotong, a municipality on the southern tip of Negros Oriental. Shaotong is a, it's on the southern tip of Negros Oriental and is basically about an hour south of Dumaguete City. Oddly enough, the time and date of the incident is noted as being 9.45 p.m., Tuesday night, June 25th, which doesn't seem possible as a friend of his contacted me about the murder yesterday morning, which is Tuesday morning. Regardless, uh, the report goes on to state that the victim's name was Dieter Pust, that's P-U-S-T, a 79-year-old German national. The alleged perpetrator is noted as being Amelia Alviola, a 46-year-old Philippine national. They were both residing together at Barangay 3 down in Shaotong. According to the report, the two had engaged in a heated argument. The victim then tried to leave the house on his motorbike, but his girlfriend allegedly came after him and stabbed him in the chest. And looking at the photo, it looks like he was actually stabbed in the right armpit. Getting stabbed in the armpit or stabbing somebody in the armpit is very dangerous as there is a major artery that goes through there. I think it's called the axillary artery. Um, and if you wanna cut that, you can cause death very quickly. After being stabbed, Mr. Pust was taken to a Chateau hospital for medical attention. In a classic case of too little too late, the German national later died from his wound. His girlfriend later turned herself into the local Philippine National Police Station. Further information notes that Dieter had been having problems with his girlfriend for a while. Before this murder, he had made reservations to stay long term at the Sweetwater Resort down in Zambonguita. Zambonguita is a little bit north of Chateau. He had returned with some helpers to move boxes of his stuff from the house. At some point, he apparently tried to take the motorbike, which is allegedly in his name. This caused his girlfriend to go into a rage. She ran into the kitchen where apparently she grabbed a knife. She came back out to the front yard and allegedly stabbed Mr. Pust in front of the witnesses. Now, usually, since Mr. Pust, he's a foreign national, he doesn't have family here in the Philippines. Usually in the Philippines, if somebody is murdered, it's going to be the family who actually presses the charges against the individual. But in this case, the alleged perpetrator, she had turned herself in, and it looks like the Philippine National Police are actually pressing the charges, or the state prosecution is pressing the charges, and she is being charged with murder. Domestic violence occurs all over the world. It is very dangerous. It's well, With police, the most dangerous situation for them to go into is usually a domestic violence incident, especially when people got access to knives, guns, and all that stuff. This is a very unfortunate incident, and condolences to Mr. Pust's family, wherever they may be. And again, I just wanted to say that this isn't to paint the Philippines as inherently unsafe. It's just to talk about some of the things that can happen anywhere in the world. So until next time, everybody, try to be safe out there, and I'll see you on my Philippine dreams.